preliminary police investigations into a stabbing incident in the Commonwealth area on February 3 revealed that the suspect had acted alone and there was nothing to suggest it was an act of terror. During the press conference, police said a 20-year-old man allegedly attacked seven people with a knife, a chopper and his bare hands. All the victims had superficial injuries. With three conveyed to the hospital for outpatient treatment, the police said. The motive for the attack is not known at this juncture, ST understands. The suspect will be charged in court on February 5th with voluntarily causing hurt by dangerous weapons. The man did not have any prior criminal record, said police. A court order will be sought for him to be remanded at the Institute of Mental Health for Psychiatric Assessment. ST understands the suspect allegedly attacked the first victim. A 45-year-old woman near Margaret Drive Hawker Centre, but she did not call for police assistance. Police say they subsequently received a call about a man holding a chopper running towards 301 Commonwealth Avenue at about 7. 5 p.m., the second and third victims were subsequently attacked at the first-floor lift lobby of a nearby housing board block. The police said the suspect then fled to the vicinity of the Hawker Center, where he allegedly attacked his fourth victim. After that, he headed towards the Alexandra Canal Park connector, where the fifth, sixth and seventh victims were attacked. The police subsequently arrested the suspect at one Dundee Road. About 400 m away, with the help of five members of the public who managed to pin down the man at 7.18 p.m. The attack left two men, aged 76 and 40, and a six-year-old girl with minor injuries. They were conscious when taken to the National University Hospital and received outpatient treatment there. Three other men, aged 54, 21 and 20, and the Chinese woman also had minor injuries, but declined further medical assistance. During the press conference, three men, Mr. Ma Kuang Hang, 61, Mr. Gangeteran Soravanan, 28, and Mr. Emmanuel E. E., 21, were presented with the Public Spiritedness Award for their help in detaining the suspect before the police arrived. When the Straits Times visited the area, Eyewitnesses said that they heard signs of trouble at around 7 p.m. when a woman ran through Margaret Market, a small mall beside the Hawker Centre, yelling for help as someone had tried to strangle her. A food stall operator, who gave his name only as Mr. Go, said that the suspect had fled the area but soon returned, allegedly armed with a small blade that was believed to be used to attack the six-year-old girl and her father. Mr. Mock who works as a cleaner at the Hawker Centre, was heading for a Chinese New Year event at a community centre with the chairman of the Hawkers Association of Margaret Drive and several stall owners. When he saw three teens running towards them, shouting. The youths were allegedly chased by the suspect, who was waving his arms frantically with a chopper, said Mr. Mock. As the suspect ran past the group, the chairman Mr. Neo Chin Li, 78, was allegedly struck by the chopper in the back of his head. He didn't hit me very hard, but there was some bleeding from the back of my head, said Mr. Neo, showing a swallow wound behind his right ear, treated with medicinal ointment. As his fellow employees followed the suspect to chase him away, Mr. Neo sat on the steps of the food centre to tend to his wound. Mr. Go was among several employees working nearby who hurried over with a first aid kit while they awaited a medic. Concerned for bystanders' safety, the group followed the suspect at a distance. Warning pedestrians to stay clear, said Western stall operator Lim Boon Chit, 58, who was among the group who tailed the suspect along with Mr. Mock. Mr. Mock said, We shouted at him. And as he ran towards Queenstown MRT station, we kept chasing him. I stopped to call the police, 
so that we could get reinforcements to stop him. It was quite lucky there was a downpour earlier. Otherwise, there would have been more people walking or cycling, said Mr. Mock. The suspect soon turned into the park connector. Mr. E.E., e., who was cycling along the route and stopped to help, said the suspect was wearing a mask and looked confused. He was breeze walking, so we were breeze walking behind him, said Mr. E.E. E. He had a cleaver, so we didn't want to get too close. But we didn't want to lose him in case he did speed up and run, he said. The group kept up the chase before cornering him at a guard post at Queen's Peak Condominium in Dundee Road. Mr. Mock said we couldn't manage to hold him down. As we approached him, he kept swinging his chopper at us. So I picked up a pole that was supporting the branches of a tree and asked him to put down his weapon. Otherwise we will hit him. But he didn't obey our orders, so I hit him on his head. Asked if the five men pinned the suspect down, Mr. Mock said, three of them did so. If the five of us pinned him down, I think he will become a ham chim, peng deep fried Chinese donut. On February 4th, it appeared to be business as usual at the Hawker Centre, with a steady flow of diners. Mr. Lim, who was part of the group who helped to stop the suspect, said the young man was a familiar face at the two-story Hawker Centre. He had been a patron when they ran the store at Tanglin Halt from which many stalls at Margaret Drive Hawker Centre relocated in 2023. He will order food from us every two to three weeks and eat quietly by himself, Mr Lim said. He's never been aggressive before. He struggled a lot when we pinned him down. I was shouting at him don't do this, and he kept crying, Mr Lim said. When asked about why he decided to pursue the suspect, Mr Lim said, we just happen to be there. My grandchildren come to this area too, and I keep thinking what might have happened if they were here when this occurred. Miss Serene Chiu, Assistant Commissioner of Police and Commander of the Clementi Police Division, said, the police would like to commend the five members of the public who detained the offender before the police's arrival. Their bravery and intervention stop the actions of the offender from causing further harm to the public. Those found guilty of voluntarily causing hurt by dangerous weapons can be jailed for up to seven years, fine and caned. The police also reminded the public that it is an offence to carry an offensive weapon in public without a lawful purpose. Those convicted of this offence can be jailed for up to three years and receive at least six strokes of the cane.